What's happening y'all? This is Danny Oakley here and I had mentioned in my last vlog that I had some stuff coming in that should improve uh, audio quality as far as the mic goes and what have you and I'm happy to say that those items have now come in and I'd like to introduce my new mic setup. Uh, oh, well, wait a minute. One second y'all. Ah! Here it is, y'all. <laughs> so yes, this is my new uh, mic setup. I went and bought a um, sort of a mic uh, extension boom stand, give or take. Uh, went and bought the stabilizer right here for my mic so that, you know, hopefully, you know, the mic doesn't pick up every single sound. Like if I bump into my desk or just do something, you know, whatever, the mic just doesn't pick up those unnecessary noises. And also bought a, another sound filter to go on the actual mic piece itself. So, um, so with me wanting to start doing the singing and reading videos, I want to be able to stand while I do those type of videos. So this right here, being able to move the mic up and down, and everything like that will be able to help me do those type of videos. Um, the stabilizer definitely should help with any sort of like unnecessary noise that is made. Like if I were to be playing something and I hit my desk or just kind of like if I'm tapping my foot on my desk and Mike kind of picks up those taps and everything like that. Uh, so hopefully the stabilizer should help with that. I'm not 100% sure how to exactly test that, but I'll, I'm sure I'll figure it out while I'm editing and in between and everything like that. Um, the sound filter uh, is just a, like an added extra layer of sound because, you know, I'm whenever I'm speaking, I got to speak through now this sound filter, this sound filter, and then also the sound filter that is in the mic itself. So that's three layers of sound filters that I got to speak through. And I'm expecting a, you know, crisp, clear voice. You know, hopefully it's not too muffled. I'll figure that out once I get into the editing stuff and kind of figure out what exactly my voice sounds like while I'm speaking. But hopefully I'm expecting a crisp, clear voice uh, should work. <laughs> I'm really hoping so. And if it does, then that just means that it's better audio quality. And also, while I'm doing my singing reading, reading videos, it should help with if I get my voice high, shouldn't crack or anything like that in the audio, which Audacity has been really good with not having any cracks in, in the uh, audio with the normal setup that I did have. So um, there's just a few things to kind of figure out, you know, like kind of, because I feel like where it's at right now is really good because it's not taking up, well, I mean, it's taking up eh, a little bit of the screen, but not too much. Um, where I'm sitting, like, right now, um, definitely does not hinder my uh, my view of my TV screen. Um, the thing is, like, I don't know if I should stand, like, kind of kind of up, up on it or kind of facing like this on it. Or if I can just sit just like this. And it still catches my voice. Again, just one of those things I'll find out once I edit the video. Um, I don't think, like, just from looking at the video on my computer, doesn't cast too much of a shadow. Um, but I probably will be moving my light a little bit just to kind of adjust so that more, you know, there's more light on my face and it's not being, you know, there's not casting any shadows or what have you. Um, it's just all little adjustments and just a whole new learning curve and everything like that. But my desk is completely like clear. Like I, it's not like my mic used to be just right here in the middle of my desk and I had to like kind of maneuver around it and everything like that just to be able to use my keyboard and stuff. So hopefully, you know, we'll be able to, like I said, with it more movable space and everything and it is kind of out of the way. Plus... I feel like whenever I do edit my videos and stuff, I can just move that to the side and it's out of my way so that I can fully focus on editing my videos and not have to like constantly like move my mic around and stuff just to properly use my keyboard and what have you. So I'm definitely extremely excited about this whole new setup and, and um, I'm really loving the way that it looks. Like I said, there's still just some minor adjustments to be made here and there and stuff like that. But other than that, I'm really loving the way that this looks. It just really looks 
it just really looks <laughs> good. I, I don't have no other words to, to say for it other than it just looks really good. And I can't wait to start implementing them into my videos. Um, speaking of which, um, the first seven videos of the new series that I'm starting, uh, the first seven videos is going to have you know, just the normal mic set up and everything like that. Because when I did those recordings, I was still waiting for this to come in. So... After the seven videos, start expecting this and most and just and the rest of the videos and give or take. Um, I'm very excited about it. I hope y'all are too. And like I said, I'm, I'm hoping that with doing this, it should it should improve audio quality exponentially more than what it has been. Um and I just can't wait to start implementing it. So until then, thank y'all so much for coming out to watch this video. Hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all did, smash that like button. Let me know what you thought of the video. And subscribe for more great content. Thank y'all so much for y'all's time. And we'll see y'all in the next round.